Now in our sixth year, this is GabNet, the great American broadcast network. Talk like you've never heard it before. That's me, and we go until midnight tonight on the East Coast of the United States. Hello, everybody. Hello there. Happy Tuesday. Good to see you out there, uh, and uh, we'll uh, we'll see what's happening here. Let me see here. First of all, we have a guest, uh, as as we always have on Tuesday. It seems to be our our Tuesday guest that we have. Uh, let me see here. Let me go. To gallery. There we go. Now, if everything's working right, I think we can be uh, like where we were a couple of weeks ago. See? Side by side. There we go. See? Oh. There he is. Uh, uh, side by side, because for a couple of days, I've had trouble with it being one on top of the other. And I got a hold of the people at, at Zoom, and they told me how to make it the other way. But I didn't want to try it because I wasn't sure whether it was going to work. And uh, But it's, so far, it's working. When we go to the panel, I don't know what's going to happen. But I had to change the size of my Zoom just a tad to bring the – do you see the pictures side by side? You can't see them, right? Uh, yeah, I see it on uh, – Yeah. Well, on YouTube, uh, if but, you look tomorrow, uh, we're going to have Will Durst on our show. And I recorded him yesterday. And he'll be on top and I'll be on the bottom. Uh, oh, so you're a bottom. Right? I'm a bottom. Yeah, I always choose to be the bottom. Anyway, hello, Phil. How are you? Hey, I'm I'm just fine. Uh, I'm having a I'm having a wild day. Uh, you know, I was listening to the news, and did I hear this right that the Chinese have something to do with Zoom? No, it's I think it's a um, I believe it's a South Korean company. Yeah. 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 So interesting, yeah. you know, uh, because if they have uh, ability to you know, see what goes on with Zoom, think of all the conferences uh, that our uh, business people are having that uh, they could be privy to. Well, yeah, but this, it isn't. It's a I think it's a I think it is a it is either a South Korean company. Yeah, it is. A, I think it's a South Korean company. It's not Chinese that I know. No. All right. Well, you know. And I'm not that afraid of the Chinese. I know you are, but I'm not. I'm not afraid of the Chinese. I'm just aware of the fact that you have to be uh, in a position where you don't let your guard down uh, with uh, with a government that you know wants to do us harm. They don't want to do us harm. Oh, you don't think so? No. But is your head not, in the sand? Not at all. No. No. They they want they want to they certainly want to do better than us. You know. At, at any cost. But I don't think they want to hurt us physically. No, so they didn't send the virus over. And you here. don't... No, they didn't. No. No, okay. they didn't. As a matter of fact, turns out the virus was here before it turned out in, up in China. Oh, okay. Because so, no, they, they, they went back to, to blood samples that were taken, I think, in August. Mm -hmm. And they checked them out and they found COVID in them. Well, you, you want to hear this conspiracy theory. Yeah. Uh, uh, a friend of mine said that uh, the virus actually started in a Wuhan lab, but this Wuhan lab was buying uh, animals to test with, mm -hmm. and they had paid a service to dispose of these animals properly. Well, what they the service did was they wait, went. Wait, wait, and where, are you, where are you getting this story from? First of all, hey, I, I'm not done with the story no, because because I don't want I don't want uh, uh, a YouTube getting up my ass for spreading wild ass theories I'm, on a show without challenging them. I said it's a conspiracy. So uh, what what they're saying is yeah. is that at the wet market, somebody instead of disposing of these contaminated animals that were used for testing out of that lab they were sold at that wet market and people ingested uh, and these uh these diseases 
of these viruses mm -hmm. because uh, they weren't properly disposed well, of. Well, we know they that they did show up in bats in wet markets. That's for, that's for sure. But the thing is that we just recently found that we had cases that we had blood samples with COVID in them here in the United States in about August. Yeah. So, so oh. really, I, I'm. I think we should change the name of the uh, of the uh, COVID virus to the Trump virus. I think that would be the proper name. Well, uh, it, it's definitely going to be the Trump vaccine. So why not? No, it's a, a, no, never going to be the Trump vaccine because in the case of Pfizer, they weren't given any money by the government to develop it. They, they no one gave them money to develop it. They gave them money to distribute it. Well, they had to buy it from them because they right. don't get give it away for free. They bought it before this stuff was uh, was even approved. And if and if it wasn't for uh, the tr uh, Trump uh, virus, uh, he took out all the stops so that it could be oh, approved. Oh, I know? see. Oh, oh yeah. Oh yeah. Sure, he did. Sure, he yes, did. he did. And, you know, I, I just needed to ask you, didn't your parents ever tell you that you're not supposed to talk about religion or politics? <laughs> yes. <laughs> well, no, not my parents, because my, my father was very much a lefty, so he enjoyed talking politics. I see. You know. Uh, but uh, uh, listen, I, I got to tell you uh, that tonight I heard something about yeah. Trump. That made me change everything I feel about him. Yeah, how is that? Uh, finally, he did something. He said something good. Oh, that he's going to use the pocket veto uh, to veto that crazy bill that came out of Congress. No, uh, no. Money. No, of no. Pakistani. No, wait, wait, uh, hold, hold on, hold on, research. hold on, hold on. What do you think he? What do you think he's asking for? two thousand dollars a person per. because he felt 600 was too little right and of course he's just mimicking uh, uh pelosi who said that that uh, when he came up with his original thousand i think that she said it was crumbs so uh, i guess uh you know we're getting puch which is yiddish for belly button lint well, I mean, what I'm saying is he's for two thousand dollars for everybody, and I was sitting around saying and belly aching, gee, you know, I mean, in fact, I was talking to Bobby Slayton the other day, and he said to me, six hundred dollars, what's that going to buy anybody? Uh, you know, grams of coke, a couple of grams of coke, yeah, maybe in the old days, in the yeah. old days, they would have bought you a couple of grams of coke. You have any idea what it sells for today? I have no idea. I have yeah. no idea. I don't think it's as expensive as you and I might think because I don't think there's as much of a, uh, uh, a demand for it. Yeah, I know the discos are all closed now. Yeah, the discos have closed. And, so, and, and those of us who did a lot of Coke back in the day, we really don't want to go back to that space. No, it, it was a waste of money. And well, it wasn't that it was a waste of money. It's just that it had diminishing return. In other words, you did it the first time you did it, you went whoop de do, and then you did it the second time, you went whoop de do, and about a year later, you're going, give me some more of that stuff. It isn't working for me right now, you know. So. And you know, when you were doing and imbibing, there were no ATMs. Uh, <laughs> you're right. So, <laughs> you know, what do you do? You use you can't use a credit card. <laughs> yes, you could. To chop yeah. up the Coke. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> yeah. Once you could afford it because you were able to have the cash, which you right. had to take out during the day from the... You, right. you, kids, the you kids don't remember this, okay? Right. You don't remember this. But we used to have to go to the bank while it was open, okay? Yeah. yeah. And, and not only that, we had to go to deposit our check. Uh, or, while yeah, it was open. Open. And I used to get off the air. I used to work from uh, two o'clock in the morning till six o'clock in the morning. That oh, in was New my York shift, yeah, at WPLJ, which was a good time to be on the air in New York in those days because everybody was listening to radio that time. The the amount of people listening to radio that time of night in New York was equal to the amount of people that listened to you in the morning in San Francisco. Okay, yeah, uh, especially WPLJ. It was the progressive station. Yeah, uh, there uh, and because I I was on it. But anyway, anyway. Yeah, you know, I met you when you were on it. Yeah. 
you would you would uh, set on the, on the air yeah. that your uh, the electric went out in your building and they couldn't open the garage door and your car was stuck in the garage so you had no way of getting from the station back to your apartment. So I called and I said, "I'll I'll take you." What do you mean the garage in the building? Right. Well, well, no, I thought it was the garage in your no. in your apartment. But, well, I mean, uh, if I couldn't do that, then I took a cab, and then I took a cab home. No, you took Phil. I took, uh, or I took <laughs> Phil. Right. Yeah. And uh, you know, I had uh, breakfast with you and Naomi. Mm-hmm. And, uh, that's that's where I first met you. Anyway, uh, so the point I'm making is, I used to get off at like six o'clock in the morning, and the banks don't open till nine. Right. So if it were a day where I got my paycheck, because they didn't deposit your paycheck for you, they gave you uh, a written check, and you right. had to deposit it. I had to wait till nine o'clock to go to the bank to deposit it, or go to sleep, and then wake up before three in the afternoon when they, I think, or maybe four when they closed down right. to deposit it. And if I wanted to make a huge withdrawal. I had to do that within those hours, too. So it was really not convenient to my way of life, you know, doing an all-night show. So. Yeah. Well, uh, you know, it, New York is a city that never sleeps except the banks. And by the way, that's what kept me from doing a lot of coke in those days because I couldn't draw, take out enough money. I didn't want to get up to take it out. The only reason I was still up is if I was doing coke, Okay. In the WPLJ days? I don't think I did coke back in those days. No. I, was, I was just doing pot, and I was doing acid, and I was doing mescaline, and I was doing every woman I could lay my hands on. So. Excellent. Boy, those were the days, folks. Huh? Yeah. You remember? Yeah. No, I do remember. Uh, you know, they're, uh, they're over for me. You know, yeah, they're the, over for me, too. Oh, they're, they're so over for me, I can't even have a fantasy now. <laughs> you know, yeah, well, I, I, uh, you know, at the time when I knew that they were going to do the prostatectomy, uh, I said to, I said to myself, here we are. Know, we were talking about getting laid in the old days when we got together. That was our discussion, our big discussion. And now yeah. what is it? Yeah. This. You know, I just, at that point said, Hey, it was a good run, you know, and, uh, and it looks like it's over, but, uh, yeah, we, we were talking about stuff. You, you were, you, I remember one day you showed me this picture of red. And uh, Red was see, a, what was the woman I was going with at the time? Well, it was before you were going with her. She was a fan. She sent you a picture, said she wanted to meet you. Mm -hmm. And, uh, you know, you said, wow, this is pretty good. <laughs> you know? uh, yeah. 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 Um, one of the more memorable women sexually that I yeah. ever had. I don't know if she's even see half these people. I don't know if they're still alive. Has it, it, well, it's not been that long. What What's do you it, mean? Uh, I mean, she was, about the, she was about the same age I was. And yeah. it's conceivable that she could have gotten something that killed her before this. You know, yeah. since the average age of a woman is about 78. Mm. You know, so, uh, uh, you know, uh, slowly but surely I'm beginning. I mean, uh, uh, Slayton was telling me that a woman he was going with when I knew him uh, yeah. is in the hospital now. And not only has, turns out she has uh, ovarian cancer. Right. But she has COVID, too. So, wow. so, you know, who knows if she's going to make it, you know. So yeah. these, uh, this is the kind of life we're leading now, folks, is that this is our this is our. Hey, who do you know that's died recently? Uh, you know, a couple of people. Oh, let's uh, not go into it. It's so depressing. Yeah. It's so but, depressing. You know, people that uh, I, you know, cops that I knew that uh, had retired, maybe 10, 15 years ago, two of them died in the last couple of days. Uh, one of them, uh, 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 both of those guys, one of them had COVID and the other one had cancer. Yeah. Uh, yeah. But anyway, so uh, uh, you are, um, uh, you know, it's, it's, you're, you're doing okay. You know, you, you, so far, so far, you know, I mean, you know, uh, uh, I have uh, decided that I needed more protection, so I got a uh, I got a new mask. Is that one uh, of the ones that goes down to here? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. And uh, except it's got holes here, so you can talk, and it's got a uh, it's got an open nose. Yeah, but that's not going to do you any good. You're supposed well, to cover I, those things. 
Well, what I do is um, it's it's cold here. So I wear the mask, the, the regular mask, that comfort mask that mm -hmm. uh, you got. Yeah. Uh, I wear that underneath this thing. Yeah. And uh, I was in Whole Foods tonight mm -hmm. walking around with this thing. And I am sure people thought that I was a axe murderer, you know. Really? Uh, oh, yeah. This, this is uh, this is, uh, you know, pretty. Uh, yeah. how, how does a store know when somebody's going to hold them up and when they're just protecting themselves from COVID? Uh, I don't know that you have to make an announcement. I guess you take your mask off and you hold them up. Yeah, I, yeah. I, I yeah, nobody will recognize that's, that. It's that. called courtesy, folks. Yeah. Uh, but I just, you know, I mean, I'm just, uh, I just, uh, today has been one of my, uh, the last couple of days have been my tired days, you know? Yeah, yeah. just the last couple. Yeah, yeah. For last week, at, at one point, I was feeling pretty, uh, pretty awake and alive and everything. Mm -hmm. And then all of a sudden, I'm tired again, you know? Yeah. So, hey, uh, back to this package. Uh, did you know some of the things that were included in, in this package that mm -hmm. they uh, mm -hmm. want us to up to Trump? I don't they, know. Yeah. I really don't know. All I know is that it's shameful that it took them this long to get around to a second package. I don't think the second package is going to go through. I think it is. Uh, uh, well, the reason is that they threw in a whole bunch of stuff uh, that uh, really doesn't make sense, and I don't think Trump is going to allow it. Well, if Trump, uh, it, if Trump can turn it down, then all he does is goes back to the Congress, and they vote it back in, and he has no say-so over it. Uh, he only has veto power, but they can veto the veto. It No, if he... There's something called a pocket veto. And, <laughs> oh, uh, Jesus. Yeah, you know, it's like a pocket veto. What's that, when you got your hand in your pocket and you're playing with it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Here's uh, my, here, I got your pocket veto right here. Sure. Yeah. Uh, it, what happens is if uh, they they have ten, if he doesn't vote on it within ten days, uh, it becomes it becomes a law, I believe. So what happens is uh, the the Congress must adjourn on the third of January. Mm -hmm. So the timing is such that the bill will die. If he doesn't uh, if he doesn't vote on it, so he's not going to have to vote yay or nay. The timing is such that uh, he'll uh, he'll uh, the, the bill will go down in flames. Now, there are some things in there that are a little suspect. Mm -hmm. uh, there's there's money for uh, research of a transgender population in Pakistan. Uh, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. I'm going to have to go look this up. I don't, yeah. I, I, I don't, I don't believe that that is in this bill. Well, then you don't believe Tucker Carlson. But oh, 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 God damn. Yeah. Hey, no, hey, of course, know, I, it, I don't believe Tucker. I used to work for Tucker, but I don't believe him. Well, yeah. I don't think the guy's going to make up this kind of stuff. Oh, no. Oh, no. Of other people. Oh, no. And, uh, and and I've heard it all day, uh, but there are things in that bill. What is it? Pa pa what was it? Pakistan transgender? Yes. Oh. Uh, you know. So, uh, what kind of pork is in this? Uh, is in this bill? Let's see. Transgender. Oh, gender studies. Here we go. Yes. Pakistan right. gender studies, not transgender. What's the difference? Hey, uh, how US much Congress even... clears twenty-five million dollars for democracy gender programs in Pakistan? Okay, that's, that's not, a good one. But that's, that's not. A good one. Wait a minute. Uh, let me see here. And then it, uh, yeah, C Americans fume as COVID relief bill promises millions of dollars to Pakistan. Yeah. And, well, and, you might be. You might be right. Yeah, and we're getting six... everybody. Nobody can have a drink. Right. Okay. Nobody can we're have a drink. Six... There's there's other there's other stuff just as egregious as that, mm -hmm. uh, and it, it is just packed with mm. that kind of crap. Uh, and you know where why is this money going uh, uh, to these countries? That I don't know how that stuff happens. You know you can't blame Pelosi for it. You can't blame the the senators and Congress for it. Uh, uh, sometimes it's one congressman who somehow sneaks a pork bill in there. You okay. Know. How about the money that's going to uh, refurbish the Kennedy Center 
which I believe Pelosi's daughter is the. Uh, well, I could see I could see doing that because we use it for a lot. We use it for a lot of events, but I don't think it should be part of this bill. I would agree with no. you on that. This and bill, I'll, should, I'll have to. We have to. By the way, folks, we have to check all this stuff that he's talking about because, quite frankly, he just he's, did. He, he's usually full of crap. But you know. just did, and you found it to be true. Uh, yeah. Well, I have to read further on that, but it's only when you're talking about 900 billion. Okay, doesn't matter how many restaurants are closed that could use that money. How many? How many people are are going to be evicted from their apartments and their homes because uh, they haven't had COVID relief and their businesses are closed down? Look, look, you know they want to take uh, and hang what's his name uh, Newsom by his toes they're so upset in california with these close downs and Mm -hmm. uh there are people that are protesting this you know right now and when you see this kind of bill coming through and that pakistani thing was just one little morsel of what's in there and there's a ton of that stuff uh it it was it's so bad i don't even want to remember what it is Hmm. okay Hmm. all right okay well, I mean, you know, I mean, I, I, uh, I, I hope you're, I hope you're right, you know. I hope I'm wrong. I hope that the bill uh, is is good for the people well, that need I, it. I, I just think that it's a shame that it took them this long to get something through. And I agree with you if you say there are extra things put in there, and we don't know who put them in or why, that they shouldn't, they really shouldn't be in there. I think if you want to fund. Uh, the Kennedy Center. You do that with a fund the Kennedy Center bill. Exactly. And if you wanted, if you want to uh, 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 fund the Pakistan gender studies thing for twenty five million, okay, that's fine. I'll I'll vote for it. Good, but let's make it not part of this bill. There was okay. something just as stupid that was like an Egyptian uh, study or money for Egyptian something or other. I salamanders. I I don't remember exactly. Yeah. Uh, you know uh, what it was for. But it was just as egregious as the Pakistan gender study uh, when money in this bill should be going well, to the people all, that need yeah. it. All I know is they're giving away $600 per person, and neither you or I are going to get it. Uh, what's, the, uh, what's the threshold? The cutoff for- point is $75,000. No, I'm not getting it. And mine is I don't make 75000 a year, okay? Yeah. But... Between my wife and I, we make $150,000 a year, and that's the cutoff point for a couple. Oh. Uh, So maybe I just might apply for it on my own and say, screw you, darling. I don't know that we apply for it. I think it you either uh, get it or and qualify for it or you don't. Uh, So I don't want I don't want the check anyway because on it it says uh, Donald J Trump. Trump president whatever. I, I don't do, need do money. Say that? Huh? Do they say that? Yes, they do. I've seen them, seen pictures of them. Oh, yeah. okay. Well, you sure it wasn't Photoshopped? Because, no, it uh, wasn't it Photoshopped. Been... It wasn't Photoshopped. This was a government check, one of the last ones they sent out. And they, in the right, uh, let's see, the left bottom corner uh, yeah. over a little bit, uh, it says a uh, Donald J. Trump president. So it's not the Secretary of the Treasury? No, would... no. 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 Oh. Or maybe maybe he signed it too, but it, it isn't signed by Trump. He signed the back of it. Did he sign and, the back? And then put his account he on. Put it. his account on it exactly. That's the way he's going to raise money to take care of his legal defense once he gets out of out of uh, the White House. I think he's already raised it. Yeah. How, uh, quickly, because we only got about a minute, less than a minute here. Uh, how do you feel about the fact that he's a sore loser? I don't think he's a sore loser. I think he's a fighter. And he's fighting to the end. Oh, boy. Everybody, you can now puke. <laughs> okay. Hey, listen, good talking to you. We won't talk to you f- next week because we're going to take the uh, the week off. Uh, yeah. But we will see you. I'll, I'll get a hold of you, and we'll do this again uh, two weeks from tonight. Sounds good to me. Always love talking to my friend, Phil Meyer. He's always a lot of fun, a lot of information, and purely entertaining for just the mismanagement of facts. <laughs> that he's able to deal with. That. Goodbye, Phil. Good night. See you later. There Thanks. goes Phil. Okay. Anyway, that's uh, Phil Meyer, and uh, that's our our dealing with him. Now there's some people waiting to get on here, and uh, 
I have just uh, it allowed them to come in here, and let's see here. Is everything okay? Charlie, are you gonna you gonna turn your camera on or there you are? Okay, let me uh, let me go to Zoom panel here. Oh, wait a minute. We also have uh, uh, Trucker Steve as well, and there they are, ladies and gentlemen, starting hey. us off tonight. How are y'all? Doing good. good. Doing good, huh? All right. Well, let's start off the evening as we always do with our good friend, um, the uh, purveyor of doom, Charlie Wallace, with the count and the amount for today. Okay, Charlie, go ahead. Yeah, we had 3,090 deaths today for, from COVID. Uh huh. And the count stands at 322,345 deaths total. Oh, boy. And then we had 190,000 new cases today. Mm -hmm. That case count stands at 18,202,000. Wow. Wow. Well, okay. There we go. You know, those check those checks last time were mm -hmm. stalled to put Trump's name on them. Yeah, they held them up so they could do They that. held them up to so Trump could put his name on them. Absolutely. What do you have to sign every one of them? personally <laughs> no they just said this was whatever blah 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 trump yeah hey we're being joined by an old friend that we haven't seen in about a week but i'm sure he had his reasons and we're not going to ask for his excuse robert natali hello robert how's everybody yeah how are you we're only Good. we're only doing two shows this week uh, because uh, we got christmas coming uh, eve coming up on thursday and on uh, friday we got christmas so uh, we're taking uh, that week, and then we're taking the next week off as we do every year. Uh, but I might do a show on New Year's Eve. I don't know because we, we don't have any place to go. Okay, yeah. so I may be here on New Year's Eve to do a, a little New Year's Eve show, and maybe bring the the New Year in uh, at uh, at midnight. I'm wheezing tonight. I don't know what my problem is. Anyway, oh, hell yes, Charlie. I'm going to use the break to watch all the James Bond movies. Really? Yeah. Can I name a few not to watch? <laughs> uh, I don't know. I, I, I got to watch the whole series. Wait a minute. I'm, I'm, I'm kind of okay. that way. Okay. Well, well, let me tell you. Let way. me tell you right now. Hold on a second. <laughs> uh, IMDb. They uh, are free and, on YouTube. Yes, they are free <laughs> on YouTube. They're, yep. They're they're free in a lot of different places, I think. But anyway. James Bond movies. Yeah. Um, the James Bond. Okay. Okay. James. It doesn't. It, what? Oh, James Bond. I got I spelled it wrong. I can't type anymore. You know that? I already watched Doctor No and From Russia with Love. So I'll do Goldfinger tomorrow. I don't. I don't see a whole list of them here. I didn't like Doctor No. That was yeah, the very was the first, first one. They very haven't first. perfected it yet. Uh, yep. uh, what's on her secret Majesty's service? Isn't that the very first well, one? Well, well, no. well let me oh. let, let me get a Doctor list no. here. Huh? Doctor because... No was for 1962. Doctor okay, no. James Bond movies in order. Okay, here we go. Uh, uh, best way to watch. Yeah, well, I don't care about that. Uh, what is the chronological order of the James Bond movies? Okay, here we go. We are going to, all right. First of all is Dr. No. All right. Uh, definitely you should watch that one because it kind of starts the whole thing off. Yeah. Okay. It kind of gets you in the, in the mood. Then you got from Russia with love, which is probably, I would say one of the best, say three bond films. Uh, it is certainly the most, true to the Ian Fleming stories yeah. and, and style. Then you have Goldfinger, but that's the one that kind of created the, the, the format for the movies. Mm -hmm. And then it was so successful, all the future movies followed that format, you know, the, the super villain and the da 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 and, uh, But I would say watch that one. Okay. Then we get to Thunderball. Thunderball. Eh. Eh. You know. Hey, but it had Tom Jones thing, singing the theme. So. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I used to he be able, belted I had, it out. I had a contest once with my friend Dana Gould, and we literally sat there listing 
all the theme songs from every one of the James Bond films. We knew what the title was. It was always the title of the movie. But what we didn't know and what we were had to know was who sang it. Shirley Bassey. Shirley Gold Bassey. Finger. Well, finger Shirley Bassey. Okay. Yeah. For, well, let's go to the first one. Uh, 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 Dr. No, who sang the theme song from that? Well, there was no theme song. Well, there Dr. was. It was kind of a Calypso song. Yeah. It was some kind of Calypso song. Okay. From Russia with Love, who sang it? That was Matt Monroe. I just Matt, watched the very, movie. Today. Very good. Matt Monroe. Very good. Goldfinger, Shirley Bassey. We know that. Thunderball, Tom Jones. Okay. It's still the movie to watch. Almost any one of the uh, of the uh, uh, Conneries is worth watching. Mm -hmm. uh, you Only Live Twice uh, is okay, you know. Um, then uh, he left the, f the series, right? Mm -hmm. And the, the next film was starring a guy by the name of George Lazenby. Mm -hmm. now, you, now you're going to expect me to say don't watch that one. But I'm going to tell you, Charlie, absolutely watch that one. Well, I was going to watch it anyway. No, because it is, it is, it is, <laughs> I, it is, I think, Dana Gould and I, one, yeah. Dana Gould and I, when we talk about Bond, we'd say, what was the best Bond movie? And I think we were both kind of saying, well, you know, it's probably uh, maybe From Russia With Love. All right. What's the second best movie? And we would always come up with On Her Majesty's <clears throat> Secret Majesty's. Service. Yeah, uh, it has a plot. I won't tell you how it ends, or have you seen it already, Charlie? I saw it forty years ago or oh, something. Okay. Whenever it came out. Well, that, <laughs> that's the one with uh, Diana Rigg in it, yeah. and uh, he uh, marries her. James Bond gets I, I married. I think in, chronologically, and as far as the timeline of James Bond, I think that was first. Mm. But it just wasn't the first one that was made Maybe. into a movie. Okay. Oh, oh, you mean it was the first book? Um, well, even if I don't know, if it, I don't know for a fact that it was the first book, but it was a prequel if it wasn't the first book. Yeah. Okay. Uh, Diamonds are forever. That was Sean Connery coming back yep. one last time. So so film, not really great. Takes place in Las Vegas. Um, yeah. That was another Shirley Bassey song, in that one. Uh, Live and Let Die. That was the first Roger ah, Moore. Ah. Nice. I, Roger Moore and I hated Paul Ro McCartney and Williams. Paul McCartney. Yeah. yeah. Paul McCartney. Live and, and Let Williams. Die. Yeah, which is really a remake of Live of of, of of what? Um, what was the last song on Sgt. Pepper's Lonely Hearts Club Band? Um, God, my mind. Day in the Life. A Day in the Life. It is actually, if you think about it, the song is a remake of A Day in the Life. It has the same oh. form as A Day in the Life. But anyway, eh, that was a, I, I don't know. I didn't like any of the Roger Moores. There was one. Man with the Golden Gun. Eh, <laughs> Spy Who Loved Me. Eh, <laughs> Moonraker. Oh, big. Oh. Uh, <laughs> Then for your eyes only was pretty good. That was they good. got back to form in that one. Yeah. Okay. Uh, Octopussy, forget it. Just mm -hmm. don't even put that in the uh, in the lexicon. Okay. Uh, let me see here. Uh, a view to a kill. The worst of all of them. Okay. <laughs> um, uh, Denise Richards, right? What? Denise, Denise, Denise Richards. I think, yeah. I, think, I think Denise Richards is in that, and the bad yeah. guy is Christopher Walken. Um, and uh, let's see here. Then we got to uh, Timothy Dalton, uh, hmm. Living Daylights. These pictures. The problem with these two pictures, this and the one after, License to Kill, the Timothy Dalton's was, the company wasn't willing to put out a lot of money for them, and so they were done on the cheap. And they don't have the same kind of feel that the other one does. The other ones do. Then, to, then we get to Pierce Brosnan's, Brosnan. Now it even gets worse. It's just kind of, these are just bland. <laughs> they, they, these didn't have to be James Bond movies. They could make them anybody movies, you know. They, uh, Tomorrow Never Dies, The World Is Not Enough, Die Another Day. And then, like then we get to Daniel Craig. Time to watch them again. Yeah. Okay, uh, Casino Royale, 
terrific, just terrific. Um, then uh, Quantum of Solace, eh, not as good. The reason for Quantum of Solace kind of sucks is that in the middle of, of starting to prepare this film, there was a writer's strike. And so they had to take the, uh, the script that wasn't completely polished and do that. And so therefore, it didn't, wasn't as good as the rest. But then they came back with Skyfall, which was terrific. And Spectre was pretty good. And that's your weekend for you. <laughs> I, don't like, I don't like when he falls in love, though. You don't? Well, the, on a Majesty's Secret Service, he doesn't only fall in love. He marries he her. He marries her, and something else happens. She gets murdered mm -hmm. at the very end for one of the tenderest moments ever spoiler in a James alert, Bond film. Alert. What? It's a spoiler alert. <laughs> well, yeah. spoiler alert, 40 years too late, okay? <laughs> if you haven't seen it by now... Yeah, go go fuck yourself. You know, I'm I sorry. Saw, I've seen every one in the movie theater. I've, I've never missed one. This one, I'll probably uh, watch online because of COVID. Because of COVID, yeah, yeah, yeah. Been good, good. So anyway, so how are all of you? How how are you doing, Alan? I'm doing good. So Casino Royale was that the one where he is uh, strapped to a chair in the nude? In, in a in yeah, a in yeah. a room and and torture the bad guy tortures with a, with a knot in the rope. I mean that was yeah like, yeah. yeah I mean, that was just off the hook. Nothing like seeing some guys nuts being tortured to make you oh, feel yeah. amazing. That's, that's hard to watch. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. we forgot Boy. one other movie. We forgot an, uh, one other movie, and this was the one that was. There were two pictures that were not made as part of the the. Uh, James Bond, Harry Saltzman, uh, Albert Broccoli group yeah. of pictures. One of them was um, uh, uh, Never Say Never Again, which is a remake of Thunderball. Mm -hmm. The reason being, the Thunderball was the only uh, screenplay... Oh, hold on a second. Uh, I accidentally pushed a button here and it started playing something. Hold on. Uh, they, um, what happened was Bob, uh, uh, Ian Fleming, before he was, he became big because the books became big and the movies became big and everything, wrote a screenplay with two other guys. And it was supposed to be a movie and it was Thunderball. And it, uh, it didn't sell, so he turned it into a novel, which became one of the novels. But then when they wanted to make it into a movie, they had to settle with these other two guys, and the deal they had is they could make any version of this film they wanted to. So when it came to D Never Say Never Again, they got Connery to come back for a big percentage of the movie, and uh, they redid Thunderball. And if you watch it closely, it's the same plot line as Thunderball. Okay. The only other picture that was made, because it was owned by CBS, because they had done it as part of a, uh, 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 they had a series called Climax, and it was an anthology series in which they did a different drama live every week, and they did Casino Royale. And so they had the rights to Casino Royale, which a guy by the name of Feldman um, uh, uh, got from them and was able to make into that horrible David Niven, Woody Allen, Orson Welles, Casino Royale. And that's the reason why for years they never made Casino Royale till Daniel Craig, because it wasn't until then they could actually get the rights to it. Ta-da! How much do I know about James Bond? They had to find somebody with big enough nuts to hit. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> exactly. So... Uh, anybody here have a favorite James? Where, where, what happened? Who, who, do, who, do, who? Do, oh, we lost uh, Steve. We lost Steve's Steve and, and in and out a little bit. And Rocky. Yeah. Well, well, he'll come back. Oh man, my stomach is hurting me. Uh, I, I'm a mess today. Hey, please excuse me. Uh, anyway, here comes Trucker Steve. Hi, Trucker Steve. Hello again. Uh, you were having some problems there, Steve? Yeah, I'm having. Uh... Yeah, I guess he is. Yeah, he's having some problems. Anyway, where was I? 
Oh yeah, um, James Bond. Oh yeah, uh, I I don't know where why I got so much information on James Bond, but it was that I used to play trivia on this with D Dana Gould, and uh, we it, it, we just like really tried to see if we could top each other or come back with better trivia about James Bond. And when you do that, you learn, you know, and you learn all about the series and what made it work and not work. And uh, who, however, who, who, um, I'm trying to remember what his first name was. The guy who produced Never Say Never Again was Talia Shire's husband, whose name mm -hmm. was, his last name was Schwartzman, which is the same name, last name as mine. And Jason Schwartzman is his son. Uh, and um, so I know that. What else do I know? I know a lot of things, but they never were gonna, they never make me any kind of money. All right. So anyway, did you did you hear what I was saying earlier about Trump actually coming out and saying we should get two thousand dollars each, not six yeah, hundred? Where, where has he been with this bill for the last how many months? Uh, yes, yeah. exactly. You know, like, where you been, pal? Now you come out and you say it's a disgrace. Well, why didn't you take a more active part? Well, because... It's a distraction. Be, because it's a he, distraction with all the pardons he's doing. Well, yeah. the trouble is, he. I think he realizes <laughs> that America hates him pretty much now and that he's got to do something to make them love him. And it's the same thing he's done to make women love him. Give us money. Right, right. You know? Um, but, but, but I agree with you, Robert. I mean, where was he all this time? Yeah. Yeah, but that news is talking about that all the time, and all these pardons are starting to just fall like crazy. Wait, still wait, a month ago. Wait a minute. Has he done pardons yet? Yeah. He did a bunch today. Yeah. What What yeah, did he do? A list of them. What did he do? I didn't. Uh... He pardoned a couple of guys that lied to the feds about the uh, Russia investigation, for example. Mm hmm. Mm -hmm. I think there were a couple of congressmen that, that got uh, convicted that he's yeah. pardoning. Yeah, three three Republican congressmen. The war criminals, I don't know if that's the same one, but yeah. It's all about covering tracks, isn't it? Well, yeah. I guess so. Well, you know, you can do that. You know, you're allowed to. Uh, let's see, pardons. Pardons. They're originally set up, right, to help right wrongs. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. That's now they're just... Yeah. Well, okay. yeah, they're just bailing people out. Let's see here. Uh, b -b 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 uh, uh, the pardons of former campaign aide George Papadopoulos, mm -hmm. Duncan Hunter and Chris Collins, four yeah. Blackwater guards involved in the massacre kickoff, mm -hmm. whatever that was. Uh, I seem to remember that. He announced Tuesday, uh, a batch announced Tuesday, our Alexander... Van der Swan, a Dutch lawyer who was sentenced to 20 days in jail for pleading guilty for lying to the Mueller investigations. Two Border Patrol guards convicted in 2006 of shooting and wounding an unarmed, undocumented immigrant. Oh, wonderful. He's letting some great people go. Mm -hmm. Remember, he told him, he said, if you shoot him, I'll pardon you. Yep. The, he actually said that before the... Maybe the nonviolent drug offenders recommended for clemency by Alice Johnson were recommended for by Alice Johnson. Uh, many of the nonviolent drug offenders who were recommended for clemency by Alice Johnson, the former federal inmate who sentenced uh, Trump commuted at the urging of Kim Kardashian West. Uh, I guess it's where I get my legal advice. <laughs> He had Tuesday, commuting the remaining prison term of former Representative Steve Stockman, a Texas Republican who was convicted by a jury in Texas of almost two dozen felonies, including fraud yeah. and money laundering. Yeah, what the hell? Let him go. go. You notice out of every 10 of them, 12 of them are white. Yeah, okay. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And they're, they're all Republican. Yeah, right. Yeah. Uh, let me see here. Who else? Who else have we got here? Hold on a second. Uh, in the release, the White House cited Stockman's age. Uh, well, this, I have a Steve Sock, uh, 64, underlying pre-existing conditions and blah, blah, blah. Wow. 
Mueller investigation pardons. Uh, yeah. So it, 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 it's pretty much a lot of the Mueller people, you know. Uh, but it's 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 pretty amazing, don't you think, guys? I mean, yeah. I mean, it's not that we didn't expect that this would not. happen, you know. But anyway, well, how much money he took to do all those pardons? Mm -hmm. <laughs> mm -hmm. Well, yeah. uh, I, I who knows? You know, he's going to need the money for his own defense work. Yeah. Uh, because you know, there's a very good documentary. If you get to watch it, CNN did this thing called. Uh, Empires of New York, and it was about five separate people, uh, one of which was Trump, one of which was Rudy Giuliani, another which, of which is Gotti, another one is, what's her name? Um, Leona Helmsley. Leona no. Helmsley, and the final one was uh, Boski, Ivan Boski. Hmm. And it goes through the history of Ivan Boski and, you know, all of them. And, uh, and, and, and what they, uh, you know, what they did and how they came to power and then how they suddenly did uh, terrible stuff. And uh, it, uh, it was, uh, you know, uh, it's pretty good. Uh, and, and what's interesting is especially Giuliani played a great role in all of these because he indicted Helmsley, he indicted uh, Gotti, I think, he indicted um, uh, Boski, so he was responsible for all of those. And then, of course, we get to the Trump era. I mean, it's very strange, and it talks about how how Trump was losing all his money. I mean, he just he just completely lost it, you know. Hey, yeah, Alex, uh, I got an error on YouTube uh, on on the show. What's it? What's the error? <clears throat> it says. Uh, it says, an error occurred. Please try again later. Playback ID 7 underscore VYXJTK. Where are you watching it? Where are you watching it? On YouTube. On YouTube? Yeah. Huh. Well, as uh, so far as I know, it's okay. Okay. Well, I, uh, I, I believe. I believe it's okay. Let me take a look here. Yeah, it um, looks good. Huh? Yeah, and, uh, it looks good. <laughs> yeah, okay, it, so it's just my computer. It's, it's probably just it's your just computer. Uh, I mean, <laughs> I made some adjustments today. I, they, there is a little bit of, in case you're getting it, flashing of the picture every now and then, but that's just because it's something that has to do with my... I had to readjust <laughs> the way we do this today. Uh, I just looked up the error code, and it's only in Austin, Texas. Oh, really? <laughs> okay. no, oh, 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 okay. <laughs> You'll get to know me. I'm very sarcastic. Yeah, it seems to be, it seems to be going out it's okay. probably my computer. Yeah. No, it seems to be going out okay. So I'm not bothered by it, you know. Okay. Um, but uh, what I'm saying, what, what it, it, it's just that we're getting so close to this whole thing being over with. And there are some, I don't know how easily it's going to be to get him out of the White House. I mean, is he going to suddenly refuse to leave? Is it going to get that embarrassing? He said something about uh, that he'd be standing on the ledge and they'd have to take him off the ledge. I hope it's a high ledge and they just yeah. say, jump. Yeah. yeah. Push him. <laughs> yeah. Uh -huh. go, go ahead. Do all America a favor. Absolutely. Give him a high five. No, but I wonder if they're going to have to drag him out of there. I think the pardon starting, that's that's the first part of this whole process, right? Well, you know, we've got what? Thir less than 30 days now till uh, the uh, till the uh, inauguration. Um, yep. Noon. You know, Noon on the 20th. And he's, you know, the Trump people, the Trump people, Biden people have to get in there to be able to redecorate the uh, Oval Office. Because while what happens is you have the, uh, you know, the, the Trump Oval Office. And then while the inauguration is going on, they do a quick tap dance and they empty out that room and it put in all the new furniture, the stuff that maybe Biden wants, this old desk. You know, there's, there's certain desks that have been used in the past. And I want these curtains put up. And I want this rug with the seal on it and so on. And they just they pour all that stuff in there while the inauguration is going on. 
But somebody has to plan that ahead of time. And whether Trump's going to let them do it or not, I have no idea. They're going to have three big, strong guys and just lift the chair of Trump's on and just move yeah. right up in the lawn. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Jeez. I mean, technically, he's be a trespasser. They could arrest him. Was it Pelosi who said, I don't want to have to pull him out by his hair? <laughs> Ooh. That could be long, not long to pull. Yeah. <laughs> by the time that unravels. So what, She'd have orange dye on her hand. I, I'm just curious, Robert. What have you been up to? Because we haven't seen you for about a week, and I went. Oh, I've been I've been pursuing a really active social calendar. Um, today, for example, <laughs> I got up and went to the kitchen. Um, uh huh. Okay. And after the kitchen, I went to the living room. Oh my and- God! I, you know something? It, it may sound strange, but I did somewhat the same thing. There Only I went to the living room first. Oh, well. And so then I went to the kitchen. You, here's my advice. Tomorrow, yeah. reverse yeah. the order so that <laughs> boredom doesn't set in. Oh, of course. Of course. Yeah. But then I also have the office here. Right. And I have mm-hmm. a guest room. I have an office as well. Yeah. So, so you went. You probably went into the office after you did the uh, living room. Alex, that's Friday. Catch up, will you, for Christ's sake? That's Friday. Office is Friday. <laughs> Sorry. I've been deleting Facebook friends. So I, I had 3,300 Facebook friends, wow. and I finally got to the point. I said, you know what? I need to just narrow this down to people I know. And you know how hard it is to delete them on your face on your phone? Oh, no. Anyway, so, so I'm down to 1,200, and I still have a chunk to go. How did you get? Uh, how did you get three thousand? I mean, I've got five thousand, no, but that I got those because I was on the air at the time when I first got them. Yeah, because I have a lot of car friends, and then they're like their car friends and their car friends, and then by the time it's like all worldwide, and, but, and but you, you know, you see somebody and they have a hundred friends of mine. Yeah, you know, we got They we, have a car, and then I say, yeah. okay, and now I'm done. Well, with we got to stop this. We have cheapened what a friend yeah. is. Yeah, I am. I am. So that is my goal by New Year's to have the only people to I have know. no friends left. <laughs> Maybe five right. friends. Us right here. These are my only friends. <laughs> yeah, uh, Alan. Yeah, Brian, I, I was going to send you a friend request. Maybe I'll think twice now. I I, I don't want to feel bad. <laughs> wait, oh, you wait never... till you see down to a thousand. Then then you know okay. you'll be really accepted. Okay, and I'll jump in. Brian accepted mine today. Yeah, and it's only because Alex well, said what your here, name was here, on Facebook, or I would have just right. said, who is this guy? Here, here's yeah, the, here's the, the horrible thing is to be on Facebook and have that come into conjunction with one other thing. It's your birthday. Um, mm. And what happens is you get these happy birthday <laughs> greetings from people you never, ever heard about. Right. Because mm. I've got 5,000 friends, okay, I don't know it. I maybe I know you guys and that's it, you know, but I have five hundred friends. So the when it's my oh. birthday, it sends out a you might want to yeah. send Alex a happy birthday yeah. greeting, right? So then I get like five hundred birthday greetings. I read them all. Yeah. Did, did you? you know did you see I read them and whenever somebody said, Oh, Alex, I used to listen to you. Oh, I miss you so much. And I put he's on a podcast every night. Yeah, see where you've been. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, but I I just I, I watch this and I go, uh, geez, you know, I better start I, I then I try to start getting rid of them, you know, but you can't get rid of all of them because then everybody will be upset with you. But you can't just swipe also. You just can't no. swipe and delete it in one shot. Right. It would have taken me 10 minutes. I have one guy who's who said happy birthday. Some guy, I have no idea. He's on the other side of the world. Every single birthday, he sends me a note. Happy birthday, Brian. And then I say, thank you. And then, like, the next year he did it, the next year he did it. So he's every single year this guy said happy birthday. No <laughs> in settings, you can turn off your birthday to be seen, and right. nobody oh. sees your birthday. Yeah, but really? No. Really? You oh, can? Yeah. Oh, yeah. I'm going to do that next year. Because, yes. I, mean, I mean, I don't mind people writing me who know it's my birthday. You know, they've got it down in their calendar. And, hey, it's Alex's birthday. I better send him a birthday greeting. But, I mean, I get all these. And I, I appreciate it, folks. But all it took for you to do was click a little button. And that was it. 
you know. You didn't have Stand to go. Money. You didn't have to go downtown and buy me a present. Okay, you know, <laughs> it was nothing that exciting. You know, not allowed anyway. Yeah, yeah. So, did any of you get an announcement that it was my birthday? Yes. Yeah, yeah you all did. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Also, it's also on my calendar now, though. Too. Oh, okay. Well, now you see, because you care and you're a friend. Mm -hmm. We and we were reminded everything. every day last week. Well, I <laughs> okay, okay. Who do you who do you describe as a friend? Now, I agree. I have a lot of acquaintances. Mm -hmm. Okay, but friends. What is a friend? Yeah. How do how does someone do I do I qualify? I may qualify probably of anybody in this group. The only one I qualify as a friend of is Jeff, because I've yeah. had lunch with Jeff, and I've hung out with Jeff, and so on. And while I like all of you, do you consider me a friend? Or do you yeah, I, I said Alex yeah. Bennett. I, I, said, I, yeah, sure I talked would, to Alex I Bennett. I sure would like to. <laughs> <laughs> now Robert's not going to show up for another week. Thanks, That's Alex. It. That does it. <laughs> I said I talked to Alex Bennett last night, and this guy at work says, oh, you mean the guy from the radio? I said, yeah, he's my friend. <laughs> One yeah, guy at work. You got to let a mileage yeah, out of it, Alex. Well, you know, yeah. I mean, I just always been very funny about who I call my friend because I think I think we all have a tendency to call people friends who aren't, uh, yeah. especially people who are in the business I'm in. Okay, so we I interviewed, uh, uh, um, uh, what do you call it? Black John, John Lennon? No, uh, I interviewed John I'm Lennon. There. So do I say now, because I had him in the same room with me and I talked with him for an hour and a half, that he was my friend? No, but I get mileage out of saying I'm buds with a guy that interviewed John Lennon. Yeah. You see? Oh, okay. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So it works for me. I have a postcard from John Lennon. That, see? We see that all the time. My stock yeah. just went up. Yeah. But, I mean, I don't consider him a friend. <laughs> I, consider, yeah. I consider that John Lennon was an acquaintance. Right. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I consider my friend Shecky my friend because I've known Shecky for a long time, and you know. I don't get any mileage out of Shecky. <laughs> yeah. Hey, he was on the David Letterman show. Come on. Yeah. Everyone, every famous guy dies. I just want to know the story how he was on the Letterman. Yeah. I mean, <laughs> if you ever saw a guy playing Elvis on the Letterman show, hmm. it was uh, it was Shecky. So yeah. Oh, Did we, you do drugs with uh, John Lennon? No, 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 no. I, uh, um, I heard he did a lot of cocaine in the 70s. Well, Alex or John Lennon? My, yeah, so, my, Alex. my, my, my biggest story about John Lennon, I mean, so far as I talk about knowing him, was that, uh, I was very mad at him because he had promised there was a theater group in New York called the Living Theater. And he had promised them a donation of a decent amount of money, okay? Which for a theater like they had meant the difference between life and death for that group. And so when he offered it, they were very, very happy. And then I got word from a guy by the name of Steve Ben Israel, who was with the Living Theater, that Lennon had never come through with the money. Oh. And so I, uh, I, I talked about this on the air, trying to shame him into coming up with the bucks, okay? And now I'm at a party, uh, and John is there. And he and Yoko come over to me and my, who, who was it? Was it my wife at the time, Susan, I think? Yeah. And um, he starts, uh, Yoko starts saying, I hear you're mad at us. Why are you mad at us? And I said, look, I don't think that you have to give money to anybody. I think that everybody hits on you for money, and you don't have to give a cent to anybody. The only time you have to give people money is when you promise it to them. And then you should yeah, come yeah. through because they're counting on it. And yeah. she says, well, who didn't we give money to? And I said, the Living Theater. They're still waiting to see some money from you, and you promised the money. And they said, oh. Okay, and the next day, they sent him a check for a lot of money, all right? But I said, you don't have to. I know everybody hits on you. Everybody wants money right. out of you. 
and they said, oh, we're so sorry, and, you know, and John said, we're so sorry, we, we, we really, we should, we should we, if we promised it, we should have given it, and I said, yeah, you should have, and we made amends, and that was it, and they walked away, <laughs> and I looked at my wife, and I said, do you realize I just had my ass kissed by a beetle? <laughs> It was amazing. And he did. He gave, they gave the money the next day. So I felt good about what I did, you know. But, uh, and I, I, I felt sorry for them in this respect, that everybody's going to come up with them wanting some money. But I think they, in this case, they even just offered it out of the bottom of their heart, you know. So wait, let me amend my story. I have a Buds who once got a check out of John Lennon. Okay, good. Thank you. No, no, no. <laughs> I didn't. I didn't get the check out of John oh, Lennon. Oh, oh, oh. Yes, but, ass but I had my John ass Lennon. kissed by John Lennon. Okay. See, my stock is going up just sitting still. And all their clothes were on. Yes. Uh, yes. Uh, but but uh, that's my that's my great claim to fame. I got my ass kissed by a beetle. Anyway, Trucker Steve, where are you tonight? Uh, Woodstock, Ontario. Oh, so you're almost know, you're almost here. home, or are you home? Are you home? Can you hear me? I'll be home tomorrow. Oh, okay. So, in other words, uh, this is the. Uh, I'm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I, sorry, I got a really bad internet signal. Yeah. So I don't know if you guys can hear me. Yeah, we can hear you. Okay. Yeah. How far are you from home? Uh, well, I'll be in Toronto in the morning. Oh, okay. You still want to drive at night? No, I stopped so I could get no, on the show tonight. So. Oh, oh, that was. Oh, wow. <laughs> right. But now you're going to go home and stay there through the holiday, right? Are you going to stay home through the holiday season? Yeah, until the 26th. Till the 26th. And then you're back out on the road again. Until the 26th. Yeah. Yeah, but we're we're not so we're not going to be on the air for that week either. So mm -hmm. I, I hope you can get along without us. But you've always got Rocky. I'll be fine. Yeah, you got Rocky. You know, twenty sixth. I think that's my bathroom day. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think so. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, Ontario has gone into lockdown starting on the twenty. Oh, really? Full lockdown, <laughs> province-wide. Wow. Yeah, well, we're we're in full lockdown. Get, but the car wash is open. The little shirt is open. I actually uh, stopped at our, in Illinois just to buy toilet paper because uh, people are going fucking stupid up here now. Oh, really? Just go to Alex's house. He's got a bunch. Yeah. Well, also, he's got a truck. He can fit a lot of toilet paper in there if he wants to. You know. Um. um yeah, I, we're we're in lockdown. First they said we're in lockdown like two weeks ago. Mm -hmm. Then they said we're in lockdown again, mm -hmm. and like everything's open, right? Alan, over your area, same thing, right? Absolutely. Yeah, everything's still open. The mall, everything's still open. Still, but the hair salons are but, closed. But wait a minute, they say you say the the but the car wash is open. How is the car wash is essential that? business? I uh, wash a caddy. Huh? <laughs> I don't know. I mean, I how, how is it? I, I, I just don't understand uh, how that can be. Yeah, the, the first lockdown we had in March, mm -hmm. when everything was really locked down, they were still open for like two weeks. I couldn't believe it. Crazy. Wow. Well, they, you know, they, here in, uh, in, in New York, uh, they have finally shut down the restaurants again to indoor dining. And when it was my birthday, my, the restaurant said, well, we can have some outdoor seats and we have the heaters that go over the outdoors. And we just went, you know, it's 35 degrees out there. Those heaters may work, but I don't know if they will or they won't. <laughs> you know, so we just, we just said to hell yeah. with it, you know. Being Jeff, you, freezing you, cold and having heat blown on you doesn't get it done. No, it, no. But it may kill the COVID. I have no idea, though. Something happens, yeah. Jeffrey, what? No, turn on your turn on your mic. Your mic's on. Just can't no, it's not on. There it is. Uh, what is this? I think it's Connecticut. 
where to get into the mall. Turn up your mic a little bit, can you? Yeah, sure. Yeah. There you go. Sound better? A little better. Go ahead. Anyway, what? Okay. Uh, Connecticut, the malls, they came up with a new rule that says that people in 10 are allowed to come in. Only 10 people can come in them mm. at the same time to the same store. Okay? And other than that, you have to stay in line in a certain, like, 10 feet between <coughs> one. So we're talking about, you know, like 30 people, 40 people, mm -hmm. whatever, in a big line, okay? Yeah, well, except this doesn't count today. This doesn't <laughs> count until after Christmas. Yeah. Wow. Okay? That's when it clinically... Yeah. 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 I don't know. Your mic's a little low. If you get a chance, go up to that little green thing up there. Go to your preferences and uh, try and bring the audio up a little bit. But that's okay. Um, and that, that's what and that's what they were doing before, right? They'd say, like, you know, today's Tuesday. They say, oh, Thursday, we're going to be in lockdown. Or Thursday is the curfew. And it's like, well, why aren't they just doing it immediately? Well, my, my, why right, wait yeah. for a couple yeah. days? Yeah. You know, like we're going to close something down, whether it's restaurants or whatever. And uh, Cuomo says it's going to start Monday at 10. At yeah. Night. <laughs> and I'm going, well, wait a minute. This is Friday. Why don't you just say, right now, close everything down? Right now, none of this should be in operation. By, Instead, by the way, mm -hmm. speaking of COVID, there's a great article that you all should look into on 538 about the vaccine. And it answers a question I asked here several weeks ago mm -hmm. about the following. If you receive the vaccine, you will be protected, but can you still be a spreader? And the answer, according to this article, is... They don't know. Right, right. They were right. saying that many scientists feel, yes, you would no longer be a spreader. But there are other scientists that hold that if you have COVID germs or whatever in your nostrils or mouth, let's say, even though you're protected, you could still spread them to others. And further, it said that ordinarily with vaccines, they would know the answer to these questions. The reason why they don't is because the whole thing had to be fast tracked and there wasn't enough time to study the possible unintended consequences, so to speak. Well, the I think I, 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 it, that it, yeah. they, no. they say that they still aren't quite sure how they're going to determine which 5% the the vaccine is not effective for like it's 95 percent effective okay great i get the shot which group am i in you know right and the guy made the point a scientist made the point if i i handed you a bag of 100 jelly beans and told you that one of the jelly beans was poisonous and would kill you mm -hmm. would you grab a jelly bean and of course the answer is fuck no <laughs> you know so in a way, I get the vaccine and I'm told 95% says that you're okay, but I don't know for sure until they, the studies go further and they can find out what antibody tests can prove out that, yes, in your case, you know, you're in the clear. You really should go to 538 and read this article. It's, it's, it's very good. Yeah, I think that's why they say you have to keep wearing a mask, even though you've been vaccinated. That's right. Exactly that. Yeah. yeah. Yep. Uh, yep. Until well, until there's herd immunity. So others. So you know, I don't want to be a wet blanket here, but I think a lot of people think that now that the shots are going in people's arm, that okay, let's go, let's go yeah. out and go to Studio Fifty Four and dance. It it's not going to be that way, at least not for a while. By the reason right. the re by the way, let me just mention something quickly. The reason my good friend, my good Jewish friend Jeffrey Stein. With a name like that, you have to be Jewish, even if you're not. You've got to be, okay? Has a Christmas tree in back of him. It's because he married a Goyim. Ah, Goyim. Yeah, uh -huh. yeah. He married a Shiksa. <laughs> oh, did she hear me? <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so that, that, 
It's a it's a it, right. It's a Hanukkah bush, right, Pamela? <laughs> I can't hear you, Pamela. He may not have the microphone on. Has he got it on? Yeah, he's got it on. But I can't His mic's hear. Really low. His mic's really low. Yeah, it's low. I don't know why. Oh, oh, there you go. Now you go. Okay, now we can hear you. And that's uh, so fixed. Yeah, that's fine. So I can hear you now, Pamela. <laughs> Maybe I wasn't close enough. Yeah. So so you got the Jew to buy a Christmas tree, huh? <laughs> what happened? All of a sudden. Now you're oh, gone again. Is it okay? No? no? Now it's okay. Now it's okay. Within a certain distance of the screen? I think something was had. Yeah. Which needs some tuning. Yeah. Ne needs tuning by her his IT person, which is you. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> And it's a new room again. We keep getting a new room every night from Jeff. Yeah, we, we got a whole tour of the house. But, All right, I'm signing off. Okay, hey, listen, okay. happy holidays, sweetheart. Mar yes. Marjorie misses you. Oh, I will try to get in on a Monday. We text. We, we I know you text. Uh, yeah. You send Trump stuff all the time. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Stupid Trump, you know. Yeah. yeah. Have Wife fun. stuff. Okay, Bye. sweetie. Bye. Okay. Um, yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, uh, yeah. Uh, okay. So uh, anyway, where were we? Um, Hanukkah bushes. Hanukkah Vax bushes. Hanukkah bushes. <laughs> vaccines. Hmm? What were you saying, Robert? Vaccines was the last. Oh yeah, yeah. Well, I mentioned this the other night to Brian, and and I think where we went wrong is calling it a vaccine. Mm -hmm. And the reason I'm saying that is it's not truly a vaccine like we're used to getting. It's not a killed virus that they stick in you. Okay, right. uh, this isn't a virus at all. It's what's it called again, Brian? It's a R D M A. Oh, uh, mRNA. Uh, um, mRNA. Me messenger, yeah. yeah, messenger RNA. Yeah, it's it's a whole different technology than vaccines, and uh, uh, it's a new technology. It's uh, you know it's what we've learned about uh, doing this sort of stuff, and by calling it a vaccine, then we get all those anti-vaxxers playing games okay but if we called it what it really is which is a messenger that tells your system to hey that's got a spike on it it's coronavirus go kill it or whatever yep. uh it, it 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 literally sends messages out to the warriors as it were mm -hmm. uh, isn't that what vaccines do though no vaccines supply you with a trace amount of the disease you're trying to not get and then the that DNA, makes it that, yeah. the, the what the what's it called the DNA part the yeah, DNA they, part they grow it yeah yeah they grow it and then what happens your system then creates an antibody okay. this does not create antibody so it's not truly a vaccine I mean I'm sure it has another name Brian I don't know if you know what it is uh, but uh, vaccine was I guess the simplest term to use but it was also the one that all of a sudden made people go I'm not going to try that. I don't want to get some of the COVID in me, but you're not getting any COVID in you. The other thing I want to know is, I, listen, I've never, ever been afraid of needles, not even as a kid. But why is it that TV networks are obsessed with showing you 43 people in a row getting a shot in the arm? Can't they just tell me that the fucking people got it? Instead, I got to sit there and watch the needle go in their arm at like, Here's another one and another one and another one. I get it. it, it is Trump going to get his injection? Uh, I'll, give it, to, I'll give it to him. Oh. He won't. I think it's, somebody said he's, it's going to be cyanide. He's not going to get it. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I, uh, uh, Jeff, we were trying to say something, but again, there's something wrong with your audio tonight, Jeff. Yeah, uh, I don't know. Oh, there you are. Now we can hear you. Talk to us. So what, did, what were you trying to say? Um, yeah, that I, I think that the reason that we're looking at all these people who are getting the needle is because we're looking to see them crying. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Wish. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Fall down, right? And yeah. Well, there yeah. were a lot of people who went out and got the vaccine, and you really didn't want them to be able to get it. Like, I don't think Ted Cruz should have gotten one. No, I don't think he should have. He should have been the last person to get one in America. Okay, mm -hmm. uh, yeah. I mean, 
I, I, uh, I can, uh, Fauci, hey, he's 80 years old, right? He's as old as I am. Uh, he needs it, and he deserves it because he, he, he got yeah. us in the right, going in the right direction, all right? Um, so there's that situation. Uh, but I don't think the Pence should have been able to get it. Although he was part of the Corona task force, but what the fuck they did, I have absolutely no yeah. idea. Um, yeah, that's it. Uh, uh, what's his name? Uh, uh, um, uh, who's the guy down in Florida, the senator? Uh, Marco Rubio. Uh, Marco Rubio got it. He shouldn't have been allowed to have it, right? None of these naysayers all along, these people who haven't been supporting it, should have been allowed to get it, you know? I mean, I think Marco Rubio supported it. Did he support it? Yeah, it's the governor in Florida. That yeah. says well, then don't give him the, you know, give him the bleach. OK, right. you know, I, I mean, I, I don't understand uh, OAC. Oh, I, 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 um, Phil just sent me a note saying OAC got the uh, the vaccine. I you don't mean AOC. AOC. What did I say? OAC? Yeah, doesn't matter. Uh, 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 Casio Cortez um, uh, got it, and I don't know that she should have gotten it. And mm -hmm. I'll tell you why, because she's not in that risk group, okay? And she should have said, "Look, I'll let somebody else have it who really should have it right now ahead of me." Mm -hmm. I mean that. Uh, uh, Biden had to take it because he's president. You don't, and he's older. He's in that risk group anyway, so he, he fits. Uh, Kamala Harris is getting hers next week. Um, these are people in very important positions in the government, and we don't want them getting sick. Okay, so I can see that. Plus, they were people that supported mask wearing and and uh, social distancing and washing your hands, and and knew it was the problem that it was. And uh, they deserve it. I mean, um, when I saw Fauci getting it today, I said, this is the minute he's lived for, you yeah. know, mm -hmm. in this whole thing. And he, he, it, it's right of him to be able to get it. But, <clears throat> you know, it's going to be a while before we all get it. Supposedly, Marjorie and I will be able to get it somewhere in January, somewhere between the halfway through January and the end of January. I think. I'll let you know how it goes. Yes, Alan. So in the Bay Area, I was just uh, seeing my doctor yesterday. I got my second shingle shot. Yeah. Uh, not much fun, by the way. It uh, gives you chills and all kinds of fun I things. I had like the shingle that. shot. I didn't have any problem with it. But Did anyway. you get one or two? I got two. You have to go back for a second one. Yeah. Well, There's no such cool. thing as a single shingle shot. Oh, yeah. Well, the original, <laughs> the original shingle shot was one, yeah. and then in 2017, Shinglix was uh, approved, and that's two. Yeah. And so it's it's a very potent shot, and so they expect people to have reactions from it. And I'm having, you know, it's a little uncomfortable, but you know, I'm retired. What the hell? Yeah. Yeah. So but I expect, um, I'll, I'll expect I'll get. Most of the people that are getting the uh, the uh, the shot are not saying it's causing any any particular grief. They haven't got the second shot yet. That's the one that's going to cause the problem. No, it's the same thing. I think as the first one. It isn't. Not not what I've what, seen. What do you what do you know, Brian? Because you're in the middle of all this. You don't. No idea. No idea. No idea. Who gets it last? The kids. Yes. Yeah, yeah, and they have to. They need more data for that because they're still saying sixteen and over not to do that. Yeah. Well, Moderna is only eighteen and over. Pfizer. Oh, eighteen. Pfizer sixteen and over. Moderna is only eighteen and over. Wow. They don't. They don't. Uh, they don't study kids in these things usually. Right. You know, or or therapeutics. Yeah. But where we can find the test group, right? Like. It's not like you can round up a bunch of 10 year olds and say, all right, we're going to test things out on you. That's right. I got a boy. I'll volunteer him. <laughs> 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 the girls, no. The boy, okay. okay. Depends what they pay me. Oh, yeah. man. Yeah. Wow. Uh, because I, I, you know, I, I, I wonder if, um, um, 
you know, if it's going to be, if, if we have to get to that 75 percent, and I think we have to convince people. I think people, certain people getting it, certain people in Congress, senators, so on, it's not a bad thing because what they're saying to their constituency is, see, I did it. It's okay. Right. That Coast was is what clear. AOC said. How yeah. am I going to tell my constituents to get it unless well, I do? Well, she lives in an area which might be more reticent yes. to take it. Yes. So maybe she was good to do that. Yes. Okay. Uh, and to say, okay, see, I took it. I'm still walking. I'm talking. Yep. I'm fine. You know. And yep. the thing is that um, it seems as though the minority communities are the most reluctant to take it. And yep. I don't understand why, because... You know, they're the ones who are they getting it at, at uh, in the case of blacks, twice the rate of whites, yeah. and in the case of Hispanics, uh, one and a half times. But minorities don't have a tremendous history where it comes to governments giving out, you know, medicines of this kind and that, and it proves out that it was nothing but tests, you know, being... Oh, well, those things like, yeah, we're... Talking yeah, about so I can understand that there's been a cultural reticence to, you know, taking I, something... I have said that before, and I agree with you 100% that that's one of the reasons why. I just want to know what the reason is why they, don't, they, they don't wear masks. They don't, they don't have masks. Okay, right. because, because I, you know, there's nothing there in their history that says that wearing a mask would be harmful to You're them. You're absolutely right. And, uh, and the, and the I, data that Pfizer had, the data that Pfizer had on the vaccinations is like 9.7 percent were African American. So they they definitely got you know, good data from that that uh, pool also. Yeah, yeah. So and the old folks too are in, at 90 plus percent on both of these vaccines. Yeah. Which is good. Before well, how we how, go, how how yeah? I, before we go, I want help with something. I want help with the fact that. I hear people on TV who do two things simultaneously. They swear that Trump won the election, mm -hmm. but they also contribute to his 2020, uh, 2024 re-election campaign. That wow. takes a special kind of stupid, if you think about it. <laughs> oh, yes. <laughs> but listen, it took a certain kind of special stupid for them to vote for him in the first place. In the first place, yeah. Okay. Except for Alan. Except for Alan. Everybody yeah, else has been Alan. stupid except for Alan. Yeah. Except for Alan. Yeah. 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 Alan, right. <laughs> Alan had his own reasons. What they are, we're never going to truly investigate. Bill believes I jinxed them because um, usually the person I vote for does not win. And I guess, <laughs> and that, that made more than the half of the country happy. So that worked out good. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, listen, now uh, uh, we're going to be here tomorrow night. I hope Robert try and come by tomorrow night so we can see you for the last time this year. I certainly will. Or are you going to be in the bathroom tomorrow I, night? Tomorrow is, oh, gee. Is, you know, oh, I, don't have my, I, I don't have my calendar with me. You're <laughs> catching me at this guard here. Is he your friend now? Is he your friend? Oh, Ooh. he, I. Uh, he, your friends can oh, have he, a nice night tomorrow night. I'll even say, pal, how's that? <laughs> oh. Oh, my, I'm wait, getting off. Wait, 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 wait. Okay, wait, hold on. <laughs> All right. <laughs> I have a pal who had his ass kissed by John Lennon. There Alan, you thank you so much. Great having you here again tonight. Always is. Uh, Charlie, it wouldn't be a show without you. Brian Neary, great having you here. Robert Natali, glad you're back again because you did the full tour last week. On, it was your vacation going to each room of the house. Yes. And I think yes. that's Jeffrey, great Christmas tree, you Jew traitor, you. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, thank you, Trucker Steve. Uh, if, if, I hope we see you tomorrow night. But if we don't, have yourself a very happy holiday season, okay? And uh, okay, we'll see you tomorrow night then. You'll probably be home at the time. Uh, everybody, uh, give a big uh, night, guys. Big Good wave night. goodbye, and I'll give a big wave goodbye back at you. Okay? There they go, ladies and gentlemen. That's our citizen panel for tonight. And they go the way of all flesh. By the way, next on this uh, channel is uh, Jack Bishop. He's going to do the intersection. And he's going to be assembling a citizen panel using Skype and the address of GabNet Live. Okay, GabNet Live. We'll be again back here tomorrow night for the last show of the year. 
uh, that we're going to do. We may do one on New Year's Eve, maybe, but we'll wait and see. In the meantime, as always, we'll see you tomorrow night. Same time, same station in life. And in the meantime, if you see her, tell her I love her. And please, be safe out there. Wear a mask. Bye-bye.